Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly reading. It is a general reading. It may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We are looking at your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, the potential challenge between the two of you, and the potential outcome. Overall energy between the two of you this week is the Four of Swords. I feel like you guys have both been doing a lot of reflection when it comes to this um, connection here, when it comes to each other. This could be in a break or a separation, just not, communi or not communicating as well. We have the fights energy. There could have been a lot of conflict between the two of you, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. I think both people just kind of taking a little bit of time to like reevaluate to kind of just get some space, breathe it out, that kind of thing. Or in this kind of break or separation or no communication, both people just really reflecting and reevaluating what they want here. I do like this. I do feel Scorpio, your energy, five of cups, eight of pentacles. I feel like you still do want to work on things. I think that you've been very unhappy with the way that things have been between the two of you. I think that the the fighting and just the 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 conflict and the negative energy between the two of you, I think has been making you very sad. It's been very hard on your energy. And I do feel like you're missing this person. You guys are not communicating right now or not very much. And it does feel to me that you're missing this person. Some of you guys could be in full separation. I do think ultimately though, Scorpio, you do still want to work on this. I think you still see the value in this connection. They have this page of cups energy in the area of their feelings. So... I do feel like they want to reach out. I feel like they want to apologize to you here or they know that they need to at least. We're going to we're going to clarify these in a moment. I like this. They have the for their intention, they have the king of pentacles which is long-term stable commitment, ready to take something serious. You know, I do feel like they see you in your in their life Scorpio for a very long time. Um, and maybe they were having a hard time before deciding if that's something that they wanted, but I feel like they are seeing that now. They're ready to take this more seriously. And I feel like that's why they're this energy of apologizing because they know that if they want a shift, which they do, if they want things to shift, if they want things, if they want you back in their life, they're going to have to take some kind of action here. And I feel like they're going to because their action card is the Wheel of Fortune, which I really do like. You know, to me, that's like a positive shift, a positive um, coming back around. We have the world card here for the challenge between the two of you, closing that chapter out, that cycle out to begin a brand new one. And, you know, the way that we kind of close out and clear cycles is when it comes back around, especially if we've been dealing with something for a while and it's be it's started to become a cycle. When it comes back around, we have to do something different than we have done in the past. And I feel like that person could be getting ready to do that. They're, they're doing something different when it comes to this connection than they've done in the past. And that could really close out that cycle for you guys um, and allow you guys to begin a new, um, more positive cycle between the two of you. So I do like that. The potential outcome here is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely a brand new opportunity here. So tell me about this Page of Cups energy. Why is the Page of Cups energy here? We've got the Five of Wands in the reverse. So somebody does not want to fight anymore. They don't want any conflict. They're ready to come in and talk. Uh, ready to come in and compromise to, like, I don't want the conflict. I don't want the drama. Let's just talk, okay? I don't want to fight. Let's just talk. Let's see how we can, how we can work on things here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles energy. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like being in separation with you... Scorpio potentially losing you for good, okay? Um, or just the no communication has really showed this person what they really want moving forward. The Ten of Pentacles sometimes to me can be a card of value, what we value the most. And I feel like maybe they're seeing where they weren't really seeing your full value or appreciating your full value. Even if they saw it, maybe they're realizing that they were kind of taking you for granted or just not fully appreciating how much value you added to their life. They could have realized that they were treating this situation as, um, 
how do I want to, I'm getting a couple different things. For some of them, they could have just been treating this situation or treating you like you would always be there. You know, that they could treat you however they wanted or put as much energy in towards this as they wanted to. A little bit like taking advantage of, the, of you in the situation, of, of your feelings for them, of your loyalty, your commitment, all of that. For others of you, I feel like they were kind of treating this situation as, you know, not as seriously or not as committed. So they could have been, you know, treating it as more of a temporary situation. But I feel like that's because they weren't fully appreciating how much value you added to their life. And that's some of the energy that is shifting here. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Got the Four of Cups. So somebody could have been very close. What's shifting here? Somebody could have been very closed off before, emotionally guarded, or just not, you know, not fully open. And I feel like that is what's changing here. I feel like somebody is fully opening up. I do feel like somebody could also, with that energy, have some fear of rejection when it comes to moving back towards you. You know, fear that maybe you're closed off to them now. Tell me about this world energy. Why is the world card the challenge? And that could be for some of you guys. Maybe you guys are deciding to just focus on yourselves, to focus on your goals, and to um, you know turn your back on this situation. And maybe that's why it's a challenge here as well. And maybe some of you guys have decided to try to close this out. But I do feel like the opportunity is going to be here. We do have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like neither one of you are at peace with the way things are, the way things have been between the two of you. I also feel like if you guys have been out of communication, I feel like that energy is shifting here, going from no communication and separation to somebody's breaking the silence so i do like this i think you guys have potential here to close out um, a negative cycle between the two of you and begin a new one uh, a new positive cycle we have the ace of pentacles with this page of swords now it's just about kind of reviewing the opportunity that's here and having this conversation figuring out is this what we both want i do think with the seven of wands in the reverse somebody's reaching out to communicate and they're hoping that you let your defenses down when it comes to them, Scorpio. They're hoping that you hear them out. But that is what I have. Look, we even have the hermit in the reverse. So if you there's been no communication, I expect that that's about to shift here. Um, but if that if this is where we part, Scorpio, thank you guys for being here. And if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personal readings, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.